Merry Christmas everybody from the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, the gravy guy. In this recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make an eggnog caramel sauce. It's a perfect Christmas morning breakfast topping sauce or a dessert sauce, let's do it. Begin with a little light prep work. Round up a third of a cup or 30 grams of pecans. Drop them into a cast iron skillet or a saucepan, whatever you have, but I love this enamel coated cast iron skillet. It's the bomb. If you don't have one, I suggest that you might get one. Your goal here in the sauce making process is to toast these bad boys, bring out some color, have the courage to burn. Don't literally burn them, but you know what I mean. Bring out some color, it adds flavor. Once they start to smoke and are lightly colored, put them to the side, drop them onto a cutting board. That's all there is to the prep work. If you don't want to add pecans to your homemade caramel sauce, then you can skip the prep work altogether. It's from scratch. You can make it how you like it. All right, everybody, it's the moment you've been waiting for. It's time to make a homemade, easy, foolproof caramel sauce with eggnog. Drop in half of a cup of unsalted butter, that's 113.4 grams. Precisely, at least that's what the package says, into the skillet that you toasted those pecans in. The first time I made this, I was a little skeptical about it. I was like, I like eggnog and I like caramel, but an eggnog caramel sauce, I don't know. But man, I'm so happy I did. It's a real crowd pleaser, the taste is amazing, and this has become a real holiday tradition. It's super easy to make and it's such a treat. Add half of a cup or 78 grams of granulated white sugar into the melted butter. Give it a mix, try to dissolve that sugar into the butter, cook it over medium heat for about five to eight minutes until it turns a nice amber type color. While the sugar and butter does its thing, it's a good time to work on those pecans. They should have cooled off, so now it's time to do what everybody loves to do in the kitchen. Play with knives. Why does everybody gotta be so fascinated with knives? Well, it's pretty easy. They're shiny, they're sharp. You're not supposed to play with them, so you do. Carefully, of course. All right, concentrate, back to the tutorial. Now this is a really easy recipe. There's five simple ingredients that you should have readily available during the holiday season. And this easy eggnog caramel recipe is perfect for breakfast. Throw it on pancakes, put it on French toast, throw it on waffles, put it on crepes. It also works really well as an eggnog dessert sauce. Drizzle it over brownies, over ice cream, dip pretzels in it. It's a real knockout. So check it out. The sugar, it's a nice amber color. So now it's time to add that eggnog. Take that whisk out of your back pocket. And of course, everybody has a whisk in their back pocket, right? Snag the nog, give it a shake, and you'll use one cup or 250 milliliters for this recipe. Your burner, it's still over medium heat. Drop in that eggnog and whisk at the same time, slowly pouring it in. It'll get crazy and sputter and spit, but don't burn yourself, be very careful. And keep whisking y'all, even after you've dropped it all in, keep that whisk going. Don't worry if you see one or two sugar crystals start to harden up, it's okay. Keep stirring and in a minute or so, they'll dissolve into this Christmas caramel sauce. I also like to break out my spatula and give it a once over scraping the sides and the bottom of the pan just to make sure that everything is up and into that caramel sauce. Break out some spice, add a dash or two of nutmeg. You can add this if you want, if you don't, it's okay. Taster's choice, right? To accentuate the sauce's sweetness, add a touch of salt. Break that whisk back out, give it a 360 to make sure that the spice and the salt are well mixed into the sauce. So there's really not too terribly much more to do here for this eggnog infused caramel sauce. At this point in the process, you're just reducing it down over medium heat to thicken it up. After a few minutes of simmering in the caramel, it becomes more of a syrup type consistency. You're ready to add your last ingredient. Snag those toasted chopped pecans and drop them in. One thing to keep in mind when making this festive caramel sauce is that whenever you take it off heat, it'll become a whole lot thicker. Another great thing about this recipe is you can make it in advance, put it in the fridge covered, take it out, pop it in the microwave or put it on the stove, warm it up and bam, you're ready to go. Drizzle it on, whatever you like. And that's all there is to it. That's how you make a holiday eggnog caramel sauce. Thanks everybody for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. Hope that you enjoy this recipe and you have a chance to share it over the holiday season with all of your friends and family. If you're looking for additional caramel sauce ideas, check out this Kahlua caramel sauce or this coffee caramel sauce. They're both easy to make and absolutely delicious. Thanks again for watching. And remember, it's just you, me, and the sauces. Keep whisking, y'all.